Hey guys, what is up? It is SSD Middleman here with Guides for Us All, and the new update for Warframe is out, so today we'll be looking at some of the new features added into the game with the Silver Grove Update 3. I know it's a strange update name, but we're just gonna roll with it. First things first, we got a new item known as Ayatan Treasures. These treasures can be found in any mission, although they are rare. Do note, they are marked on your minimap if you're using the Thief's Wit mod, so make sure to throw that on. You can also do a special mission once a week if you go to Maru's Bazaar and talk to Maru. She'll take you to a special mission with a guaranteed Ayatan sculpture at the end. Now not only can you find these sculptures, but you can also find Ayatan stars. You can combine the two to make the finished sculpture. Now what do you do with these? You can either give them to Maru in exchange for a lump sum of endo, trade them to other players in exchange for platinum, or you can use them as decoration pieces around your lie set. They look rather nice, and I imagine those with more talent in interior decoration will be able to make their lie sets look rather nice, at least better than mine does. The next item on the list is a big change, unique resource visuals. Instead of the old orange, green, or blue hockey pucks we've been used to picking up, most resources now have their own unique looks. I really like this change, although it will take some time to get used to, especially for our friends in Canada. On the same note, we can now find resource catches in missions. These can take the form of nasty pores containing some nanospores, or even a heap of salvage that you can destroy to nab the resources inside. This applies to every resource, except for research resources as far as I know. I was able to find resource catches for all resources, including rare ones. I found a neural sensor one on my first Jupiter mission run, so getting resources should be much less of a terrible grind now. Next up, we have a new operator suit, the Manduka suit. As many of you know, I don't care too much for operator customization, but I think the suit looks a lot less like a gimp suit, as many of the other ones do, making it a nice choice for those who don't enjoy that look. We also have a few minor changes. The Void is now eligible for alert missions. These alert missions can contain Void traces as rewards. This is great as it will bring at least a little life back to the void, although I hope they bring more unique rewards to the void. Endo rewards and alerts will now scale to the enemy level, rewarding more endo the harder the mission, and you can now also select to wait for players before starting a public mission. This is a very nice feature, as before you'd have to cancel the mission and select it again if you wanted to search for players again. This will make the game a lot easier for new players who need a squad to help them through some missions. All in all, this update seems very focused on giving the player reasons to actually explore the missions they're playing instead of just running straight for extraction. I love this so much. It will bring more variety to the gameplay and allow players to feel more rewarded for their exploration. Great work, DE. Anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like rating down below and subscribe to see some more videos in the future, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.